Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got some new information, some interesting information about Andrew Jacked and his current status, whether he's injured or not, whether he's doing the Mr. Olympia or not. And so for those of you who are not up to date, yesterday I made a video about uh, Stefan Kinzel and David Hoffman uh, saying some interesting things about Andrew Jacked on their Rap 1 channel. Basically, they said, uh, Stefan said that he heard that uh, Andrew Jacked uh, has an abdominal muscle tear and that he might not be able to pose properly, to train hard enough, to compete at the Mr. Olympia, this and that. Uh, I wasn't sure if this is a rumor or true, and neither was Stefan. He just said it, he heard that, that that's the story that is going around in the inner circle of bodybuilding. And after I made that video... I actually heard from a lot of people that uh, this incident happened like uh, four or five days ago and uh, Andrew actually spoke about this on his YouTube channel. And some of you guys were like, if you are a reporter, you should, uh, just, be, you should just follow everything. Guys, there is like uh, 20 Olympians in, in, in the Open and like another 50 in Classic Physique and like who knows how many other influencers and so on. I can't watch every single channel and every single video. They post videos daily. They're like 20, 30, 50 minutes long. I can't see everything. But now after posting this video, some of you actually sent me the links of the videos and the timestamps as well. And so now... I I can report the rest, the other people who are not really watching every single YouTuber, every single YouTube video, like every minute of like those 50 minute long vlog videos and so on. So here you can see, you will see exactly what happened because Andrew Jack explains first and then also his coach, Chris Asito, speaks about what, ex what exactly happened. So let me show you first what Andrew Jack had to say about this injury. I was doing some warm up on the uh, cable just to grease out my elbows and then I trapped some wind in my rib cage. That messed me up mentally. I couldn't bend properly on this side. I can pick up weight properly. How to let Yeah, some movements were pretty good. Some movements I had to like fight. Uh, in between the workouts even I asked uh, uh, as the crew to help me out, put some weight on my back to ease the pressure, which was helpful to at least finish the workout, which is more important than stopping halfway. So, yeah, uh, here's what it is, though. <laughs> Alright, so I think now things are definitely way more clear. Basically, Andrew Jack is not going to stop halfway, as he says. He is not out of the Mr. Olympia. He's still going to be competing. Basically, what happened is, as he says, uh, he trapped some wind uh, between his ribs, something like that. Now, I also heard somebody say in the comment section that uh, somebody who says that they are a medical professional that this, um, is, this can happen, but it's a very painful process to get rid of that air uh, if it gets trapped in the lungs. And it requires like a very complicated procedure. So he's saying that that's not what happened, that it was, it was probably some kind of a strain in the ab muscle, something like that, but it doesn't really matter what it was, what matters is he actually continued training, and as you can see, uh, Chris Cycle Lewis, his uh, trainer, was helping him to, you know, relieve some pressure, he did have some trouble, you know, picking up uh, the weight and doing certain uh, exercises, and he says it messed him up mentally, and now I'm wondering how much did he did it actually mess him up? Like, did it affect his look? Did it raise his cortisol levels? Was he able to really train super hard? Is he there now mentally? This is definitely good news compared to what I thought yesterday. But, you know, it still did affect his prep somewhat. Maybe it's not gonna show on that stage. Maybe he's gonna be able to pose perfectly. And maybe his, um, like his conditioning is going to be spot on and everything. But, you know, he, he did have something, and it, it happens, like, to most of these guys. Some things happen during the prep, but they overcome those things. It, it's not really, like, I don't think this is gonna break him, not really. 
And for those of you who might say that I'm hating on Andrew because they want to see Samson do better or something like that, guys, I don't get anything from Samson beating him or losing against him or whatever, you know, and it's not like Ford really hates Andrew, that's just a running joke, I mean, come on guys, like, let's be serious here. And you guys also heard me probably say that story about Andrew Jack, how he paid my friend's uh, bill at a barber shop in Dubai, I respect Andrew Jack a lot, especially since I heard that story, I like the guy, he seems very humble, he seems very down to earth, and, you know, he's a phenomenal bodybuilder, one of the best in the world right now, potentially even the best one, I mean, I mean, I'm, I don't, I'm not saying that he's going to win the Mr. Olympia, but it's not completely impossible, we'll see what's gonna happen, so just to make that clear, I, I like Andrew Jack as a person, I love his physique as well, I just don't think he's going to win the Mr. Olympia because of his side and his back poses, but he is extremely good, and, like, I might be wrong, he might actually end up winning the damn thing. But as far as his injury, you know, he says it was some sort of a trapped wind. I don't know how much sense does that make. Is it really that or is it just a strained muscle, ab muscle or uh, even maybe an, an actual uh, ab muscle tear? I don't know. But what matters is that he kept training. He kept going through this. Hopefully it's not going to affect him much. Hopefully he's going to be able to pose and to look good. And here is also what Chris Asito says on uh, Andrew's current uh, situation, his current look. Let me play this for you. Yeah, this is Nick, uh, what's his name? Uh, Sid's putting up that video about uh, Andrew Jack out of the Olympia. This guy posted something. I think these guys were just jealous that, that they didn't have the breaking news story, so they made up a story. Yeah. I'm glad we have you to at least clarify the stories in terms of coach. Wish thinking. Yeah. 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 I think that, that's very wishful thinking on a lot of guys' part. Yeah. How good is Andrew Jack looking right now? Uh, he looks great. What's he weighing? Not saying. Is he over? Oh, is he over three hundred? Yep. Wow. I will say this: he's, he's got a very big side chest. All right, so you heard that, guys. At uh, RX Muscle Heavy Muscle Radio, Chris Asito and Dave Palombo spoke about. What happened yesterday, basically, and they actually showed uh, my video, Dave Palombo pretended not to know what my channel's name is, I'm pretty sure he knows, but he just doesn't respect me enough to mention my name, I think. I wasn't a 300 pound bodybuilder and he thinks I'm one of those guys who are, you know, making videos from their mother's basement and just got lucky. And that's okay, you know, I don't have his respect, hopefully someday I will earn it. I'm a huge fan of Dave Palombo, I learned so much from him and I hope one day he will actually recognize me, but we'll see. Anyways, he asked Chris Asito here how heavy Andrew Jack is. He didn't want to say how much, but he said it's over 300 pounds. Now, is that a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, it's probably not necessarily either one. I mean, he is a massive dude. He's definitely around 300 pounds, but like, Hadi and Derek are like 240, and they are beating him, so well, it doesn't really matter that much. You know, I, will, I think Andrew Jack needs to be at like around 300 pounds, probably not much heavier than that. If he's heavier than that, then, you know, his conditioning would be questionable, in my opinion. But, you know, being that massive, that big, it's gonna be a crazy freak factor for sure. And also, interestingly, Chris Asito says that Andrew Jack has a really big side chest now. Meaning that he probably improved it a lot by posing. And that was a big issue with his side chest. It was, I mean, yeah, like, he doesn't have the best side thickness, like, he needs bigger hamstrings and, like, maybe more, you know, chest-to-back thickness. He's a super tall guy. He needs, like, he needs to be super heavy, super big to be thick from the side. Uh, but, like, I'm sure a lot can be fixed with better posing. And I believe he did that, you know, based on what Chris Cito says. Anyways, Andrew Jack is coming to the Mr. Olympia, his prep was affected a little, I don't know how much, but, you know, maybe it's gonna cost him that one spot against, for example, Samson Dauda, I don't know, maybe not, maybe he's gonna be as good as he can be, we'll see, but yeah, he's definitely not out, he's doing the Mr. Olympia, he's over 300 pounds, and based on Chris Sito, his side chest is better, which was probably his weakest pose. Whatever you guys think about this whole situation, tell me down below in the comment section. Alright, the next thing we got is finally, finally, a leg update from Derek Lansford. 
he was showing us his back every single day pretty much, he was showing us that uh, new separation or whatever he obtained in his uh, upper chest and his uh, delt area, but he never showed us his legs, not since the Pittsburgh Pro Gas posing, we haven't really seen his legs that much or at all, and now at uh, a couple of days out, like 4 days out, we finally got a physique update with his legs, let's take a look, let's see if his legs are actually improved. And what I'm seeing here is uh, that his legs might be drier, more separated, I'm not necessarily seeing like Keon Pearson type of separation right now, but I'm also not seeing the Hadi Chopin fullness and size. But for Derek Lunsford, I think his legs are more straight and more separated this year. But are they bigger? Are they rounder and fuller? Did he like hold on to more size, more fullness, more tissue this prep? I mean, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think I'm seeing that, to be honest. And this video was taken from a lower angle, which is the best angle to make your legs look as big as possible, especially compared to your upper body. And I'm not really seeing some, you know, crazy level of size. Like, Andrew Jack has way more massive quads. Way more massive quads. Samson Dauda also. Huge difference. Hari Chopin as well. I mean, Derek, he, he has a lot of good body parts, especially the back, so he doesn't have to have everything perfectly. His legs were a weak point last year as well, and he still won. But, I mean, did he make progress? That's the main thing I'm wondering when I'm looking at this. I, I don't think so. I don't, I don't really see a big progress in the legs. Maybe some of you guys feel differently. If you see it, uh, if you think it's otherwise... Tell me down below, but if I'm being honest, I don't see much of a progression. I think best case scenario, his legs are going to look the same they did last year. And let's say he shows up more conditioned. That seems like a possibility. And maybe with more details in the chest and shoulders, then still, I think he's still probably going to win the Mr. Olympia. But I don't know. I don't know, I, I, I wanted to see him progress more, especially in the legs, that was the main thing for me, like, I wanted to see him get big in the offseason, and then, you know, maintain more muscle in the legs when he diets down, but he didn't push for the mass in the offseason, he kind of tried to keep his look basically the same, and maybe work on details, and, you know, his coach is Hadi Rambert, so that guy is, is the best coach in the world, and if he had this game plan, it's probably the best game plan, I mean, Derek is gonna have a tiny waist again, he's gonna be conditioned from the back, and maybe more detailed in the, in the front, but I don't think he's gonna have bigger legs, I mean, is that gonna cost him a win? Probably not, probably not, I think he, I still think he's the favorite, but you never know, man, anything is possible, what do you guys think? It's going to be very interesting to see the rematch between him and Hari Chopin, and Hari just posted uh, this uh, training video, at four days out of Mr. Olympia, he's still doing some really heavy squats, and what I'm thinking, if this wasn't Hari Chopin, who is the former Mr. Olympia champion, if this wasn't uh, Hanri Rambert, who is coaching him, I would think that this is a mistake, because I would understand if somebody was doing legs four days before the show, if their legs are flatter and smaller, you know, maybe to create more inflammation and to make the legs look a little bit bigger and fuller and lose some separation, I would get that, but why would Hari do that? I mean, his legs are basically his strongest body part. You know, it kind of makes me think that he's maybe still panicking and just trying to train as hard as possible to lose as much fat as possible. But, again, this is Hari Chopin, this is Hani Rambert. This story would probably make sense if it was somebody, some amateur. In this case, they're probably doing the best thing uh, possible for them. And Hari probably did this before and looked good. Now, what I'm actually happy about is seeing how he's conditioning in those legs. Again, he's also trying to hide his physique away, he's not showing any physique updates, but here in this video, let me play it for you, you can kind of see like the vascularity and the thinness of the skin as well, and it seems like his conditioning is looking pretty good at this point. Yeah, this is just legs, uh, we can see like his back, his lower back, we can see the muscularity of his upper body, 
And we can't really see even his legs uh, when he is like posing. I mean, you know, he had that uh, big asymmetry previously. Like one leg is definitely a lot smaller than the other. We don't know if that got worse or better. But a good thing that we can see here is that he seems to be in good condition. Like his legs look very vascular. Uh, the skin looks very thin. It seems like he is in shape for sure. He kind of seems flat in that uh, sweatshirt. And like his face looks very sunk in so it kind of seems like Hadi is actually bringing good conditioning i mean i again i don't know what his freshness is like are all the body parts there uh, is he gonna be at his best uh, in terms of muscularity but conditioning wise at least now we can see that like his legs are looking very very lean now whatever you guys think about Hadi Chopin and his potential placement at the mr olympia him versus derek lansford about derek's legs progression or the lack of and what do you think about Andrew Jack? Then how will he look at a Mr. Olympia? Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more bodybuilding content like this, stay tuned to this channel, subscribe. And also, if you guys are looking for a coach, somebody who is very affordable, not expensive, as like these top coaches like Chris Asito or the other professional bodybuilders, but who is also very available and like very there for you and like who's gonna give you a lot of attention, you can hire me. You can just DM me on Instagram, we can talk about that. And this is one of my clients that just won a classic physique in a very big regional show over here in Balkans uh, this past weekend. I think I really nailed the peak with this guy. Like, he didn't lose any muscle and he was as dry and as hard as possible. It was phenomenal. It's, it was much, much better in person, by the way. And I also had this man's physique guy who also won. I was with them the night before, the day before, helped them with their tan and like with peaking and everything. So I can also do that for you guys if you are close, if you're willing to pay for the, for the uh, travel expense and this and that. I can go with you and help you a lot. It really means a lot to have a devoted coach. And uh, if you are a lifestyle client as well, I can help you with that too. Just DM me once again, we can agree on everything. Uh, once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.